Hi. Welcome to my channel where we are about to embark on a Korean adventure right here in Berlin. Hallo. Dürfen wir einfach nach oben gehen? Okay, gut, danke. I'm thrilled to have you join me on this exciting journey as we explore the vibrant Korean cultural center and indulge in some mouth-watering trip. I wanted to start this YouTube channel as a way to connect with like-minded souls who appreciate the beauty and quieter moments. Whether it's Korea, cozy home decor, travel or entrepreneurship, I'm here to share my passions and experiences with you. So let's get started. In this exhibition, it's all about Hanji. One fascinating aspect of Hanji is that it is so versatile, you can transform it into various materials, including vegan leather. And by utilizing Hanji as a base, these bags offer an eco friendly alternative to traditional leather products without compromising on style or quality. But what makes Hanji based vegan leather bags truly unique is the fusion of traditional craftsmanship with contemporary design. But, anyways, I'm gonna shut up now and let you have a glimpse for yourself of this beautiful exhibition. <laughs> And what do you think so far? Comment down below if you ever heard of Hanji before and if not, would you consider buying a Hanji based accessory? Maybe in the future? Or have you already bought one? By the way, in this exhibition you can take a nice picture and have it printed right away to memorize the nice experience. Oops. Ours turned out pretty dark. At the end you can stamp your own name in Hangul, which is the Korean alphabet, and pin it on the wall. I just did my name and this is me, Pan. After the exhibition, we went coffee hopping. Our first stop was at a Korean cafe called Hanjan, and it is located right across the street of the zoo in Berlin in Zoologischer Garden. We've ordered some nice drinks and I will show you the name of the drinks that we've ordered with the prices because I think that could be pretty helpful. My friends also ordered a nice sandwich and I was able to sneak a bite from them and it tasted pretty good. But the highlight of everything was the ice called Bingsu. Bingsu is a milk-based Korean shaved ice dessert that you can get with a sweet topping. We had the um, strawberry, what, what did we add? The berry Bingsu. And it was pretty delicious. Luckily, we just ordered one portion and shared it within th the, the three of us since it was a little bit too much for us. I don't know how everybody else is doing these voiceovers, but it was worth a taste, so might as well try it or. Can you make the outro? And if you like, then subscribe. 
and if you just subscribe, then you might as well like. <laughs> if I can say it better, I can say it better.